It's Danielle Duffy with DanielleFitness.com, and today's workout is all about the back. So what you'll need is two kettlebells of the same weight. You want something pretty heavy. I'm going to challenge you today. We're doing double bell deadlifts um, and working our back. We have um, lots of big muscles in our back. Trust me, you can lift a lot heavier than you think. So put a big smile on your face, you guys. Let's get ready to work our back. A little bit of core. Here we go. Let's start with a nice deep breath. Micro bend in the knees, big stretch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, go ahead and collapse. Let's stretch out those hamstrings. A little sway right to left. Get those palms flat. Bend and extend your knees. Stretch those hamstrings out. Option to grab the back of your legs. Bend those elbows. Take a deep breath here. Peel it all the way up. One more time. Place your palms on your thighs, just a cat cow. Round and arch. All right. Hands behind your head, hinge forward. Little naked deadlift there. Dig through those heels, squeeze your glutes at the top. Make sure you have that straight spine and it's a micro bend in the knees. Ab tight. All right, just one more here. Here we go. Now grab both of your bells, hold them at your side. We start with our double bell deadlift, hinge forward. Keep that straight spine, dig through your heels and lift. <sighs> now not going for reps today, it's times 30 to 40 seconds. You just give it all you got for that time. Do as many as you can. Maintain good form and you work today. Keep that straight spine, hinge forward. Squeeze your glutes, dig through your heels. You just gotta remind yourself, what are we working today? We're focusing on a strong back. So in turn, you do a little glutes, right? Strong butt equals strong back. <sighs> Squeeze those glutes at the top. <sighs> We're gonna come back to these again. <sighs> so if you don't like this set, you got a redemption round coming up. Drop just one bell for your single arm row. Kick that right leg back. <sighs> Make sure you drop that back heel. Elbow on your thigh or your knee. Let's row it, single arm row. Ankle to hip. Keep that elbow tight. <sighs> shoulders, try to keep your shoulders parallel so you're not angled there. Shoulders squared. <sighs> Remind yourself what you're working. We're working lats. Mid back here, a little bit of shoulders as well. <sighs> you got this. All right, back to that double bell deadlift. So grab both belts, hinge from your hips. <sighs> Squeeze your glutes at the top. Let's work. <sighs> Dig through those heels. Keep that straight spine. Stay focused. Now coming up, we're doing that single arm row again. Just make sure you switch sides. All right, single arm row. Let's go. Ankle to hip. Be consistent. You're giving just as much energy on this side as you did the other. You got it. Ankle to hip, abs tight. Come on. Who doesn't want a nice strong back? Nice lean back, right? You gotta work for it here. All right, you got your last set. Last set here, double bell deadlift. Come on. No rest, we go right into it. Let's work. Dig through those heels. All right. 
Working core as well. So you're taking it down to your mat. Woo! Grab one bell, take it down with you. Let's go to a bridge. Place that kettlebell on your pelvic. Hips up and down. Abs tight. Woo! Lift and lower. You got it. Squeeze your glutes. Come on, we want to work on core as well. And what is part of your core is also your lower back. Come on, lift and lower. Squeeze those glutes. Hinge from your hips. There we go. Thumbs on the inside. Make sure you have a good grip. Now that belt's right over your chest. <sighs> Legs to the sky. Little crunches. Up and down. Now you're trying to get your shoulder blades off the mat. Belly button to your spine. Little crunches here. <sighs> Try to relax the neck. Come on, let's work. Again, getting those shoulder blades off the mat. All right, we hold it at the top, curl it up, lift and lower those legs. Yes, belly button to the spine. Now the lower you drop your heels, the harder it's gonna be. You get to customize your workout here. So if you want that challenge, drop those heels a little lower and remind yourself, you want to progress every workout, even within the workout, little by little. Come on. You got this. Ending with flutter kicks, flex your feet up and down. Let's work. Pull that belly button to your spine. Come on. Flex your feet. You got four. Three, two, and one. All right, let's bring it up. Actually, I want to do one more set of bridges. Let's work. Lift and lower. Come on. Lift and lower. Squeeze those glutes. Abs are tight. Come on. All right, let's bring it up. Working on pullover, pullover. So, thumbs back on the inside. We want to bring that kettlebell back. 90 degree bend in the elbow and drop it down. So get a good grip. Take it back, drop it down. Keep that 90 degree bend. Abs are tight. It's a pullover. You got it. All right. I want a nice balance challenge. Single leg deadlift. We did deadlifts earlier. We simply do it with one leg. So grab that kettlebell in the right hand. Keep that left heel planted. Now a nice challenge for you is you're gonna keep that back leg lifted. So that back foot never touches the ground. Come on. You got it. Keep those abs tight. That's gonna help you stay balanced. Pull that belly button to your spine. We got a double bell row, sorry, single row in between. So we only need one bell for this one. <sighs> nice deep squat. Grab that bell, it comes out in front and pull the handlebars towards your belly button. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's work. <sighs> Elbows tight. Come on. To that single leg dead left, switch sides. Woo! Come on, you're almost done. 
Let's work. So let's try to keep that left foot off the ground the entire time. Finish strong here. One more and we're done, one more. Awesome, awesome job. Woo. Nice workout for your back and your core. And if you want more, repeat it again. Repeat it twice. Awesome job, you guys. Danielle with DanielleFitness.com.